Hello, and welcome to another video about behavior disorders. Today, we're going to talk about oppositional defiant disorder. Oppositional defiant disorder, or simply ODD, usually affects children and is characterized by disobedience, anger, lack of control, and a recurring pattern of negative behavior. It is often challenging for caretakers and educators to deal with kids who suffer from this disorder. The oppositional defiant disorder is a common behavioral condition among school-age children and can be defined as a persistent pattern of negative, hostile, defiant, and disobedient behaviors observed in a child's social interactions with adults and authority figures in general, such as parents, uncles, grandparents, and teachers, and may also be present in their relationships with friends and schoolmates. We all know that disobedience is an increasingly common problem in the school environment which directly affects children's development and compromises their learning. It can be linked to several factors, including oppositional defiant disorder. ODD is little talked about, but awareness has grown alarmingly within society in recent years. It can sometimes be considered a less intense version of conduct disorder. There are, however, differences between them. Children with conduct disorder do not appear to have a conscience or empathy for those who are the target of their inappropriate attitudes. It is not uncommon for children to go through a rebellion phase, talk back, or even push the limits. But often, this behavior is not just a personality trait, but part of the symptoms of this disorder. Children with ODD feel remorseful, in addition to reacting very emotionally. They can cry, get angry, throw tantrums, and rage when annoyed. With the frequency of these behaviors, the child's interpersonal relationships at school, school performance, and family life are negatively impacted. These children lose patience easily, have difficulty waiting, argue with teachers and peers, refuse to obey and take orders, and can be out of control and angry when things don't go their way. They don't accept school rules, and simple activities may upset them. After they throw a tantrum, aggression, and inappropriate behavior, the kid may blame others for this dysfunctional behavior. Their relationships tend to be compromised, as colleagues, seeing this inappropriate behavior, start to exclude them from group and games, possibly ignoring the child. This child then has difficulty creating lasting bonds and can be isolated from the rest of their peers. In ODD, the child does not commit harmful acts to the population, as in the case of conduct disorder, where the individual can carry out acts of vandalism, violence against people and animals, theft, abuse of drugs, depredation of public property, among other irregular behaviors. However, ODD can progress into conduct disorder if the necessary treatment is not given to the child in its early stage. As always is the case in behavioral disorders, the union between family, school, and psychologist is extremely important to detect and treat this disorder. The earlier you diagnose a kid, the easier and faster the treatment will be. But how can we, as parents, teachers, or professionals, identify this disorder? Well, according to the American Psychiatry Association, the diagnostic criteria are the following a pattern of negative, hostile, and defiant behavior that lasts for at least six months, during the majority of which the following characteristics are present. Often loses patience. Often argues with adults. Often defies or actively refuses to obey adult requests or rules. Often deliberately upsets people. Often blames others for their mistakes or behavior. Is often touchy or easily annoyed by others is often angry and resentful, or is often spiteful or vindictive. It is very important to consider the criterion satisfied only if the behavior occurs more frequently than is typically observed in individuals of comparable age and developmental level. Therefore, keep in mind if the behavior disorder causes clinically significant impairment in social or academic functioning. You might ask yourself, is there something that we can do to prevent the appearance of this type of disorder? In order to prevent this, we need to understand what might cause the disorder. One of the most important factors in any disorder or disease present in early formative years is the biological factor. Everyone knows that a healthy pregnancy is essential for the physical and cognitive development of the fetus. 
But what few people know is that some behavioral changes are directly related to that period. Women who use toxic substances, such as alcohol during pregnancy, are more likely to have children who are more likely to develop ODD. In the same way, children who have difficult, aggressive temperaments, who have difficulties with learning disabilities, who have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, depression, bipolarity, and a low ability to adapt to changes, are also more likely to develop this disorder. As for psychological factors, the emergence of oppositional defiant disorder is directly related to social learning. Children who live with aggressive parents, who are constantly fighting and quarreling, can end up learning and reproducing their inappropriate behavior. You've heard it before, right? Monkey see, monkey do? The kids might take this behavior as normal as they are used to living in such an environment and take it to the school environment. Likewise, Homes where rules and boundaries are not clearly stated, resulting in children who do not respect their parents' authority, end up reinforcing irregular behavior. We've talked a lot about how parents or caretakers might be affected by this disorder, but what can we as professionals do when we come across students who exhibit the classic signs of oppositional defiant disorder? As mentioned earlier, disobedience has been a highly disturbing problem which has hampered student learning and interpersonal relationships. The student with oppositional defiant disorder presents behaviors with the following characteristics within the school environment. They might not accept orders and not respect the teacher's authority. Sometimes this student may be unable to perform group activities or even respect the rules in the classroom. You may also notice that the student doesn't do his homework and may demand that everything be done his way. When contradicted, he or she can become aggressive with his or her colleagues. This child disrupts the classroom environment and can shortly become the problem student due to bad behavior and a lack of respect for rules and authority. I'm sure we can all remember at least one problem student from our classes, and it was never pretty. These attitudes reflect how others see the kids, which leads to all the issues we mentioned before about alienation and social isolation. The teacher might even see the child negatively. However, it is necessary to point out that an aggressive child doesn't act like that all the time. It's important to remember that the same kid that causes frustration during your job, disrupts the class, and is aggressive to his or her peers is capable of affection and change. Often, because they are unprepared to deal with a challenging and aggressive student, the teacher ends up using methods of punishment in an attempt to stop inappropriate behavior. The use of punishment should be avoided and replaced by a sanction of reciprocity, where the child is encouraged to build their moral rules as it is linked to the idea of cooperation and reciprocity. Oppositional defiant disorder has serious consequences for a child's life. Academic losses in children with ODD are enormous, making school failures much more frequent, and it can lead to increased aggression and conduct behaviors. Oppositional defiant disorder is a disorder that has affected thousands of children worldwide. These children exhibit inappropriate behaviors and are defiant, disobedient, and aggressive. They embarrass parents wherever they go, disharmonize the classroom environment, and influence erratic behavior in other children. It is a real social problem that directly affects the child's social and learning and needs to be treated as such. Children with ODD need adequate monitoring to avoid perpetuating this cycle into adulthood. They need to be referred to specific clinics so that, together with the family and the school, they can have their behavior modified. Do you know anyone that has ODD? Do you suspect a student or even your child is suffering because of this disorder? Let me know in the comments, and remember, proper guidance, a stable family situation, love, care, and medical assistance are essential to combat behavioral disorders. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.